For the past several years, I have been preparing to set up a recording studio once I am finished with school. About a year and a half ago, I began a video series titled The Musical Safari, where I traveled from coast to coast across America looking for the piano that I wanted to put in my studio. However, I hadn't found what I was looking for after the video series was over, so I continued it in my more recent video series titled In Search of the World's Greatest Pianos. But one thing some of you might not know is that the piano is not going to be the only thing in my studio. I'm also going to have guitars, I'm going to have a full drum kit, I'm going to have a Roland Atelier organ, and I'm also going to be getting a Hammond V3 organ at some point. And inside of this box is one of these things that's going to be going in my recording studio. Can you guess what it is? Here's a couple of hints. This thing inside of this box was made in 1967. And this particular machine, not this exact one, but others like it, have been used in more recording studios than you could possibly imagine. Let's open up this box and find out what's inside. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start cutting open this tape with a pointy knife. That's not a good idea. Okay, what? I can't. Might be not that pointy because I can't even get it into the tape. There we go. Come on. I won't spend much time opening boxes, so I'm not the greatest at it. Now let's do this first. Have you figured it out yet? Where'd my knife go? Vanished. Where did it go? Here it is. I left it over here. Okay. This is my first unboxing video I've ever done on my channel, so obviously I'm an absolute amateur at getting this thing open. you can probably tell what it is. Let's see if I can just pull it out. Yep. And here we are. This is what was inside of that box. We have a little tab for like advertisement for the people who sent it to us. As you can see, even though it was made in 1967, it looks almost absolutely brand new. There's no, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It just looks absolutely wonderful. Um, so this is a VibroChamp amp, and for the size, it is an excellent amp. It was used in many, many recording studios over the years. And even though it's small and it may not be particularly powerful, it has an excellent sound. So, i just like to give a little shout out to the people who, that we bought this off of because they packaged it excellently well. Their company is called Mike and Mike's Guitar Bar, and this was packaged inc incredibly well. This is a great product. And what's interesting in the back here, let's turn it around for you so you can see it, is that they actually took out the tubes and individually wrapped them with bubble wrap so that they'd stay safe during transit, which I think is awesome. So this amp only takes 5 watts, but with this amp it's not about power, it's about the sound. You mic it very closely and that is how you get the excellent sound you hear in music across the world. Okay, so now we've come in here for a nice little close-up and you can see all the little knobs we have here. We have our volume, 
we have treble and the bass so you have some control over what the sound is and how loud it goes and all that stuff. And then over here we have what makes this a little interesting. We have speed and intensity and that changes the vibro part of this amp. So the sound kind of wavers and goes up and down in intensity and this changes the speed of the, the, uh, the vibrations or the noise and also the intensity that it does that. Now I'm going to be showing you the pictures that we saw of it on eBay while my friend, who is an excellent guitarist, is going to be doing some little licks and just demonstrating the amplifier while you look at the pictures. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you liked it, make sure to give the video a like, and you can also head over to my channel and check out some of my other stuff. And if you like that, maybe you could think about subscribing. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.